Hey guys, uh, I want to step you through how I go and profile to do MVC uh, applications that people have submitted. Uh, a newer submission that we have here is a JS OCaml uh, example. And so it's uh, well into the review process, but uh, before we get this merged, uh, what I want to do is just profile it for memory leaks. So the steps that I usually do here, um, I've defined a set of actions that I'm going to test and then see if that set of actions leaks. So as a user, if I do something, you know, I add a few to-dos here and I delete them, uh, I would expect that there's zero nodes and zero listeners here after I do these actions. And it seems pretty reasonable. Uh, there's that initial render of sort of this footer area and sometimes this header area. Uh, but what I do just to sort of prime the dime no DOM nodes is uh, just render one right off the bat. So, okay, here we are. So how do I do this? Well, um, I start with just using the timeline here and making sure I just have memory checked. Uh, and you'll notice that I'm in incognito mode in um, Chrome Canary actually. So let's uh, go ahead and do our action. Uh, and I'm gonna run the timeline profile, profiler over it. And let's see what our node count looks like over time, forcing a garbage collection between our start and our stop. So ideally, it should drop off and be zero and zero on both ends. So we'll start our recording. Uh, I'll just force a garbage collection, so we should be zeroed out now. I'll go through the steps of adding a few to-dos here. I'll clear them out, and I'll just do this, you know, two or three times, just so I can see the graph pretty easily. All right, and here we are. Uh, I'll force a garbage collection again, and I'll stop my recording. So let's look at this. Uh, I don't really care about the heap right now and I don't care about documents. So if you look at this profile, you can see that we start with uh, 212 nodes uh, and 19 listeners. And then you can see as we do our actions, we slowly increase. Okay, 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 okay. And here's where we run our next garbage collection. So we go from 1800 nodes and 300 listeners down to 313 nodes to 38 listeners. And if you'll notice, we started out with uh, 212 uh, nodes and 19 listeners. So uh, that's a little bit of a growth there. So how do I figure out what the growth is? Okay, so I've identified pretty much that there's a leak somewhere. Uh, so I'll start by taking a heap snapshot right here. And sometimes I'll just do a, just a casual search to see if I have anything detached, uh, nothing obvious. So what I'll do is I'll do my actions again. So let's go ahead and create some more of these guys, clear them out. Okay, and one more time. All right. And now I'll take another heap snapshot. You might be wondering why I'm not forcing a garbage collection. It's because every time I take a heap snapshot, it automatically clears out the garbage for me. So. Now we have our first snapshot and our second snapshot. So now I want to see what nodes were allocated in between the two snapshots. So I go in my profile view under this drop down that says all objects and I go objects allocated between snapshots one and two. All right, here we go. Now let's look at the object count here. Um, I see that a bunch of arrays are allocated. Uh, and I see that I have some of these attributes here. I'm not really sure what these attributes are from, but we'll keep going down. Nothing seems super strange yet. I have this thing called AP. Oh, so that seems a little odd, doesn't it? There's that number one. What's this, number three? I'm guessing we're going to see quite a few of these. All right, so when they're yellow like this, uh, we know that JavaScript has a pointer to them and our retain tree is here. Um, I would love to actually understand what is going on, but uh, this data structure seems perhaps circular, but when we follow it all the way down here is that we have a reference to our document and this is our actual node here. And so that's going to be retaining it, uh, which is never going to let it go, um, or at least it's the root DOM node that's retaining it. Uh, 
so pretty crazy. Um, we have this guy, C0. Uh, I'm not really sure where he is coming from. Um, we have this input element that's here, and you can sort of track it back. So this seems highly suspicious. Uh, let's keep going down. So at, at this point, just to be clear, I've kind of like identified that there's an issue. Um, something is holding on to something, which is no great, no good. Um, not a great thing. And then I look under these HTML elements, and I notice that we have these anchor elements and these LI elements. So I say, what's in here? So typically here is what I'll do. What I'll do is I'll look under these text attributes and I'll try and find what exactly these are. Uh, if you hover, it's nice because it gives you a little object preview. Um, but it looks like all of these are attached and actually in the DOM. So this looks like the footer area, uh, which is okay. So I can pretty much ignore that. Uh, something I would be looking for here is if these were in red, uh, that means that they'd be completely detached from the DOM. Uh, which would be a bad thing. Uh, so we have these anchor elements, and based on what I've seen, these are just our footer links that are down here. Uh, li input element. Okay, and what do we have here? And sometimes it's a little wonky, and we don't get our previews, but yeah, okay, so that's just that. And I'm guessing that all these are just the remaining elements on the page. So this seems really weird and seems pretty wrong. Like somebody's holding onto these uh, that shouldn't be. So I think this might be the root of our issue here. Um, I'm also not sure what these attributes are. I would love to know. Um, autofocus new to do, interesting. Hmm. Really suspicious that all these things are getting created. Toggle all. All right, I think we might be okay with these. These just being attributes on our DOM node that for some reason are showing up in our profiler. Um, so, so far I have this AP thing, which pretty weird. Uh, we've done 45 nodes here. Uh, which wouldn't quite line up to our 313, but it could in somewhere in the tree line up in the retain tree at least. I'm guessing that there's some things buried uh, in here. Um, these are just our closures. And it seems suspicious, uh, all these arrays, that like this distance from the window seems pretty suspicious, to me at least. Um, I would love to understand what this structure is. And we see this huge nested array again. Just crazy, crazy, crazy distance from the tree, or uh, distance from the root, the window in our case. Um, so, okay, what have I established by doing this? That we're leaking nodes, we're leaking listeners. We have some pretty suspicious things that are showing up uh, in, in this profile, such as what is AP here? What are these? And we type these in as our to-do list. So why are they still here? Why haven't they been garbage collected? So the next step that I would take is uh, taking some screenshots of this and taking a screenshot of our timeline here and basically just present my findings to the author of who created this uh, example and hopefully they have some ideas about why this is happening and can present these findings to the author of the framework and we can get some feedback you know there, there might be a case where their framework is caching things which can explain why this is happening or perhaps uh, there might be an actual leak in the implementation of this to-do MVC app or there could be a leak at a framework level. So three possibilities um, and just some interesting findings. So hopefully this was informative and showed you guys how my process works when I have no idea 
about the implementation details. I just sort of go in and, and test and poke and see what happens when I repeat these actions in profile.